In this video, we are going to integrate the function natural log of x plus 1 all divided by x squared plus 1 dx from x equals 0 to 1. This is a problem from part number 2005. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. When I first saw this integral, this part immediately reminds me of a trigonometric substitution, which is to recall that tangent squared theta, for any theta, tangent squared theta added by 1 is always equal to secant squared theta. So, recalling this identity, I will try to let x to be equal to tangent theta. So that means our denominator x squared plus 1 can now be merged, somehow merged into one single term, not two terms, x squared and 1, but I can merge them into one single term, which is secant squared theta. And coincidentally, this is exactly the derivative of tangent theta. So dx is equal to secant squared theta d theta. Now, considering to get the considering with the differential of the integral, I can cancel out the secant squared theta, and so what remains would be a very simple expression, which is that the natural log of 1 plus x is tangent theta, and then dx is secant squared theta d theta, and all this divided by secant squared theta. Now at this point, they cancel out, and so what's left is not even a fraction, but simply natural log of 1 plus tangent theta d theta. Now for the limits, our original limits are 0 and 1, so when x is 0, then theta is also 0, because tangent 0 equals 0. Now when x equals 1, then theta is actually pi over 4. So our integral becomes integrating only natural log of 1 plus tangent theta, d theta from z, theta equals 0 to pi over 4. So this is the first step to clear out, to remove the denominator. Now next, I'm going to actually do some kind of um, translation, linear translation, which is to move down the value of theta but pi over 4. To do this, I'm going to let u equals theta minus pi over 4, so that when theta is pi over 4, u will be 0, while when theta is 0, then u will be minus pi over 4. Now at the same time, our differential will not be affected because du is exactly equal to d theta, so there's no effect on the differential. Whereas for the integrand, tangent theta becomes tangent of u plus pi over 4 because theta, for this substitution, theta equals u plus pi over 4. So that means it's tangent of u plus pi over 4 and then the whole thing times du. Now I can simplify the integrand and then I'll explain why I chose to use this substitution. I'm going to use the compound angle formula on tangent of u plus pi over 4. It's going to be very simple because tangent of pi over 4 is exactly 1. So this expression becomes 1 plus tangent u over 1 minus tangent u du. And simplifying, I have natural log of 2 over 1 minus tangent u du. And now I need a few more steps to show you 
the key for this trick, the reason that I chose this trick. I can separate log, the natural log of this quotient into log 2 minus log of 1 minus tangent u du. And I can separate this integral into just integrating natural log of 2 and integrating natural log of 1 minus tangent u du. Now let me explain why I chose to use this trick, this kind of linear transformation. The first one is that I have managed to separate some values apart from our original fraction, which is natural log of 2. This, is, this can be integrated very easily. I'm going to deal with that later, like in seconds. And then, well, for the second part, natural log of 1 minus tangent u, this is in fact very, very close to our original integral. Let's scroll back up. Our original integral is log of 1 plus tangent theta, while for this one is log of 1 minus tangent. So as long as I put in another substitution, say I'm going to let v equals minus u, then I will return back to the same integrand. Also, under this linear transformation, I've simply went to the negative value of our original limits. I started from 0 to pi over 4. Now it becomes minus pi over 4 to 0. So this is simply the negative value of our original limits. So I'm going to let i to be our original integral just for convenience. So that's, that means i is equal to this, this thing. Now I'm going to continue working on natural log of 1 minus tangent u. So I've let v to be equal to minus u. And so our differential du is actually equal to minus dv. Now when u equals 0, then v is 0, while for u equals minus pi over 4, v is equal to pi over 4. Now this, this is another coincidence, which is that I'm not only getting something, the same integrand, but I'm actually getting the same limits. So this will become from pi over 4 to 0, and then natural log of 1 minus tangent of minus v, and then multiply by minus dv. And I'm going to move this minus onto the limits. I know that I can flip the limits, so the lower limit becomes the upper one, while the upper one becomes the lower one. So then for this part, I can say that it's equal to the integral from 0 to pi over 4, or natural log of exactly 1 plus tangent v times dv. Now, this green integral is actually exactly equal to i. While on the other hand, just next to it, I have a very concrete value, which is natural log of 2 multiplied by 0 minus negative pi over 4. And that is pi over 4 natural log of 2 minus the same integral. So that means this is equal to pi over 4 log 2 minus i. So I can conclude that i is actually equal to pi over 4 natural log of 2 minus i. And so I've managed to solve for the value of i. Not really computing that directly, but I've established the relation on i and some other integral which is necessarily equal to itself. So and finally, I've managed to get the value of i which is pi over 8 times natural log of 2. This is the final answer.